This looks very Elle Wood. It's so Elle Wood. I might need to borrow it if we make Legally Blonde 3. I'll give you, <laughs> which I, I mean. We gotta talk about it. You know what, I'm just skipping to behind the scenes. We're on the subject, let's do it. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Four Christmases. This is a fly on the wall, a tidbit moment. First thing that comes to mind, juicy detail. Something we would never know otherwise. Go. Okay, first of all, every almost every scene is improvised. Vince Vaughn is one of the funniest people I've ever met in my entire life. <laughs> Literally trying to hold my stomach. There's a scene where I'm holding a baby and it spits up on me. And y'all, you if you watch it again, you have see how fast they have to cut away from me because I was dying laughing. <laughs> it's a fake baby with like a tube inside of it shooting pancake batter at me. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, this is the funniest thing ever. That's like in our jobs when I always say you never know where the day is gonna take you. Yeah. Um, but so he's that funny. He is so funny. Cause I don't know him very well. Yeah. I've never gotten to work with him. Yeah. And the way I see him, like when I watch him, it feels so natural and off the cuff, like he's riffing, but I don't know if that's the case. He's it is. He's completely making it up on the day. He's completely making it up. And so you have to roll with it and you have to keep a straight face too, or add on, which was, I learned so much on that movie about improv. And being quick on your feet. I mean, you're so vet, you know, that. But I we had never had to do that. And that was good for me because it, it, you know, it's important to level up in your work. Keep you on and your he, toes. Boy, he made me level up. I was like, oh, I gotta keep up with this one. Oh, that's so hot. I love that. It was good. Okay, yeah. um, Legally Blonde, of which I'm dressed yes. in honor of. I, I, mean, I, am, I am in honor of Elwood State. It's okay. amazing. Okay, I want to tell you something about the courtroom scene was inspired by my cousin Vinny. Have you ever seen my cousin Vinny? Okay, Marissa Tomei in that movie, she won an Oscar for it. That's right. She came in at the very end and testified with this very technical jargon about a car or a carburetor. And I was like, I said to the writers, I want to have a moment like that where I say something very specific about only Elle Woods would know it, and it's about a perm. Oh, I remember. And it was inspired by Marissa Tomei. That you would never get in the shower after a perm. Yes. Sweet home Alabama. Sweet home Alabama. I remember that scene that we shot in the rain. Uh-huh. And, and I'm in the um, wedding dress. Uh -huh. I run away from my wedding and I run to see Josh Lucas on the beach. And it was pouring down rain. But I remember thinking, this is such a crazy, amazing moment. I'm going to remember this forever. And I still have the wedding dress. Oh, you do? I do, yeah. And is it true, I heard this weird rumor, but I have no idea it's true. Is the scene in Tiffany's inspired by like a real life story? No, oh, but we really were in Tiffany's and they really shut down all of Tiffany's, turned off all the lights and then turned them on and all the rings were there and all the people who worked there. It was really magical. Well, it was Andy Tennant. I who was Who the directed best your movie. Ever after, I did yes. Andy. Yes. Right. He's so brilliant. He's the best. And so I'm he did Ever After. Hitch. Hitch. And he did Sweet Home Alabama. Cruel intention. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's Sarah. Look at your baby. Oh my gosh. You know what's so, oh, I just love that movie too. Because I love that, that dichotomy between the two of us that one of us presents as sort of this good, virginal, perfect girl, but she's really as masterminding as, as Sarah's character. And it was just, that was such a fun movie to make. I remember driving in a vintage Jaguar down the Long Island freeway going, I'm, I hope I don't crash. This is I will terrifying. never forget. And, and those, I was wearing sunglasses. Those old cars are hard to drive. They are really hard to drive. Um, it's a good thing my brother taught me to drive a stick when I was little. I learned on a Renault LeCar. You gotta learn on a you stick. You have to know. And by the way, if you want your kids to text less, make them drive a stick Oh, that's car. a good point. <laughs> It's gonna be my new parenting hack when That's my kids actually, are 16. Yeah. Oh. Right? Yes. Oh. Mm. Also, I commend your performance on this so much because I feel like I watch your character truly grow up yeah. over the course of the movie, which is like a very methodical, but yet executed very naturally. Yeah. The innocence into the understanding and the playing the game and then winning. It's right. a real evolution. Yeah, and it's also about loss of innocence too. I think that always resonates with people. You know, how do you feel like, and oh gosh, I love Sarah so much. It's funny because we have a mom story together too. We had kids the same age, all three of our kids, 
Olive Tennessee and her son Rocky are all the same age. Our kids are born on the same day, yeah. by the way. Yeah, on the same day. And we were at my wedding pregnant with our two yes. bellies. And then we gave birth on the same day. I know. You know I mean, it's like the funnest, coolest thing ever. It was really fun. Okay. The one I was bragging about earlier, your Academy Award winning performance, Walk the Line. Aww. <laughs> um, I worked so hard on this show and Joaquin just could not have been more magical. He, he became Johnny Cash right in front of us. And, and it, was, it was really magical and it was meaningful. I felt like the spirit of June Carter the whole time, I felt Johnny was watching us. I was felt like, it's also, I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. So country music has been part of my upbringing. So it was really a love letter to country music and where I came from. Okay, the morning show. <laughs> Like what? Um, I mean, just getting every day to work with her and get to do these fun scenes. We were just talking about it the other day. I just wrapped on Saturday. We wrapped season, season three. three. Yes. When is it coming out? I need it. It's definitely coming out this year. This year. This year. All right. Big Little Lies. Yeah. Season two, when you bring in Meryl Streep, talk yeah. about bringing that woman into the yes. scene with you guys. That was and another gift. She called and said, "I think I want." be on the show and we're like <laughs> so where are you when that call comes in <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, Meryl Streep on line one <laughs> Meryl Streep <laughs> she called Nicole Kidman because they're very close they had done a lot of shows together of course they are and so Nicole calls me she goes I'm gonna do my bad Australia she's like um Reese Meryl called and she wants to be in the in the Big Little Lies too. And I was like, "What are you talking about?" Yes. Okay, really quickly, I, friends. I love you as Rachel's sister, and it's where the morning show connection started. Honestly. She's such an icon. They were all icons. What's the, the friend got, set like? It's incredible. Central Park was amazing. I, I got to sit on the couch at Central Park. Can you, I tell you my favorite line from Friends that, yes. that I actually got to say? The writers were so brilliant. So she says, look, you can have any guy you want, but you can't have Ross. And I go, can't have, can't have. The only thing I can't have is dairy. <laughs> Love it.